Here is your latest update brought to you by Weather Follower. Get tropical updates throughout the season so you never run out of information. Subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We're back looking at the chances of 96S currently a disturbance forming into a large and powerful cyclone that may come very close to Mauritius and Reunion later next week, with the system potentially just passing to the north of Rodriguez bringing through heavy showers according to the latest run. Before we begin may I remind you that this is over a week away, and anything can change as every day the computer models put out something slightly different. As the days go ahead we will continue to get a more accurate forecast, thus I can share more directed information for you such as place-to-place -place impacts and exact strength and trajectory of storm systems. Here's the latest information on this system. Currently, it is a tropical disturbance, however, it will start to organize and strengthen in the coming days as the environment is very conducive for development with sea surface temperatures being above the 30 Celsius needed and with wind shear being remarkably low in the area. This will allow the thunderstorms to continue to build around the center making the system stronger and well defined as seen here in the top image. At the time of recording the system on radar is looking a bit disheveled, however, this is certainly to change as it moves into that better environment for development. This is also shown in the spaghetti plots, which are showing a definite strengthening as it moves southwest towards Mauritius and Reunion, possibly Madagascar too. At the start of the spaghetti run it stays blue for a while seen here with the arrow I've put on screen. This tells us that the spaghetti plots see that the system is currently looking a bit unorganized at the moment on the radar. Meaning that it will take just that bit longer to get organized and better defined. As we go down the spaghetti plots, the colors start to change into yellows and reds, showing us that strengthening is forecasted. However, we must be careful because at the same time the lines get wider apart which means that the exact track forecast is open to doubt at this stage. We must wait a few more days yet until the system has formed a center of circulation. Once that has happened the models will get a better idea of where this system goes and how strong it is exactly. Like I've said at the start, once this has happened I can then produce a more precise forecast for specific areas. Currently, the latest GFS run is showing this. But like I just said a lot will change. So don't take this literally this is just one of hundreds of possibilities. This is over a week away and things will definitely change. That's all for the moment. Subscribe for more videos like this in the years to come so you never run out. Goodbye.